Hey, Sam. <laughs> hey, Dave. <laughs> this is Tampon Run. So, tonight is the night of the uh, vice presidential debates uh, between, was it, J.D. Vance and Tim Walls. And, I don't know, this felt like a nice topical game. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to wish Tampon Tim all the luck. I wonder if people, <laughs> anybody, I mean, will people still understand this in, like, a month or a Probably year not. or like 10 years <laughs> yeah not. what a weird timeline yeah hmm. let's let's never go back to this timeline let's never go back to the tampon tim timeline <laughs> so from what i understand <laughs> from what i understand this game was made specifically apparently there's a lot of stigma negative stigma around tampons uh -huh. about menstruation in general so I've never used a tampon. I have never. Boy, howdy, have held I? A... <laughs> <You> have... <laughs> Interesting. Go on. Don't go on. Um, it was I fun. Think... Oh, I've seen them. I've seen them. Uh, yeah. I will admit that it was relatively late in my life time <laughs> that I learned what their purpose was. <laughs> uh, but no. This is there's a lot of negative stigma around tampons, and this game was specifically made to help uh, normalize <laughs> normalize uh, those items. So as you can see, this game makes the claim that most women menstruate. It makes the claim <laughs> <laughs> for a large portion of their lives. I don't think that's just a claim. <laughs> I think that's straight up fact. <laughs> It is by all means normal. <laughs> it happens. Uh, let's see here. Go. Engage. Run. <laughs> oh, that, that little girl's running. She don't want to have tampons. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yet most people, women and men alike, feel uncomfortable talking about anything having to do with menstruation. menstruation. <laughs> The taboo that surrounds it teaches women that a normal and natural bodily function is embarrassing and crude. What would be like a men's equivalent? Pooping. <laughs> <laughs> he said poop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, no, men love pooping. Um, <laughs> what? I women mean, don't uh, love straight. <laughs> Dave, that's why they have those videos of the women strapping the guys up to the cramp, uh, the machines that shock them so that they feel oh, the cramp. That's right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, that's why they have to do that kind of stuff because there is no comparison. <laughs> <sighs> the taboo that surrounds it teaches women that a normal and natural bodily function is embarrassing and crowed. <laughs> <laughs> Tampon run is a way of discussing the taboo in an accessible way. Instead of holding a gun, what? <laughs> the runner holds tampons. That would scare away people too, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This game doesn't feel very American enough. <laughs> uh, and instead of shooting enemies, the runner <laughs> throws tampons to them. Okay, so the tampons are not the enemy. Right. They're weapons. Ladies. Yes. <laughs> Tampons are weapons. Remember this. If you've got nothing else... <laughs> Throw them at your enemies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Although the concept of the video game may be strange, it's stranger that our society has accepted and normalized guns and violence through video games. <laughs> like the, the TV's flashing. Enemy dead. Oh jeez. <laughs> Killing combo. Yet we still find tampons and menstruation, menstruation. unspeakable. It's because it's. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and clutch, clutch my pearls over here. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, okay. <laughs> look at her go! Hopefully one day. <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> Hopefully one day menstruation will be as normal, if not more so, than guns and violence have become in our society. Normal enough to place in a video game without a second thought. You know Little what girl's I realized? Like, the never ending story. <laughs> oh man. What should <laughs> she had a name name her magic flying tampon? What was I thinking? I realized yeah. recently. Check it out. I have 
literally never seen anything regarded related to menstruation as a as a plot point in a movie. Oh, yeah. Like, it's almost like like I haven't looked into it. I haven't googled it or anything. It's right. almost like there's an unwritten rule that you don't do it. Like that's just cruel or that's bad writing or something. Like you don't do that. Like this was going to happen and suddenly menstruation. Of right. course there's movies well, that are about women growing up. But mo- most other than movies that, don't pass the Bechdel test anyway. So The Bechdel test. I love the Bechdel test. <laughs> Like, um, most women don't really have purpose other than to talk about the male protagonists. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Wait, what do you do all day? Don't you just... <laughs> do you just talk around. to your girlfriends about the men in your life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Niles. <laughs> <laughs> your new cat. I got a new man in my life. Oh, my He's gosh. the love of my life. <laughs> He's obsessed with you. I said that to my vet. <laughs> I don't know that yeah. he was the love of my life. <laughs> no regards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's probably like it's probably the same thing. I don't know. It might feel stupid to bring up about the movie thing. It's probably not that different from like you don't see action heroes stop to say I gotta go use the bathroom. Whatever. Right. That's true. <laughs> I don't dig a shit, and then like twenty minutes of like outside of a bathroom do, 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 door. Get <laughs> do, do. some elevator music. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Instructions. Hit all the enemies with your tampons. <laughs> it's very direct. Don't let them pass you. They'll confiscate your tampons. No, I need those. <laughs> Three. Collect tampon boxes for more tampons. Oh, yeah. Four. Don't run out of tampons or it's game, it's game over. If you run over, out of man. tampons in the game, you run out of tampons. And that's, that's real life advice right there. <laughs> The game just curses me. Every time I go to like a store, like the shelves are just wiped out of tampons. I'm like, no! <laughs> Damn you, tampon run! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That'd be crazy. That would be game over in real life. <laughs> I'd be very sad. I'd be very, All very right. sad. Press up to jump, space to throw, try it out. Try it Shift out. To Why are there so many buttons? Oh my gosh. Up to jump, space to throw, shift to begin, P to pause, M to mute. Okay, I got it. So it's up space. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, 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 yeah. The burglars. They're all wearing right. hats. <laughs> Whoa, they're at fast. What? You got ta- two tampons left. You got to get a new box. Oh, no. Uh-oh, oh, he stole one. He did. Now you only have one tampon. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you might want to jump this it's okay. guy. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we need it's, tampons. Uh... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! It's game over, man. More keys? Okay, now I'm studying this as a game designer. There's way too many buttons input in this game. Four out of five stars. Yeah. Oh, man. I appreciate your commentary. You are doing a bang-up job. <laughs> it's, not, it's just two-button game. <laughs> I do want to try again, though. I love how it's like a, you know, a shady, like, nighttime, you know, danger is afoot. Whoa, that's a lot of tampons! <laughs> is this, Sometimes. like, random generated, like, tampon boxes? Yeah. Wow. Remember, so it was a, uh, it was a, another friend who introduced me to this game. And, uh, <laughs> like, we were talking about how cool it was, and I was like, this is really cool. It's a great idea. Like, after, whatever, just a few moments i was already feeling normalized which is great the purpose of the game and then i like i lost and i was like oh dang i want to try again oh my god and, uh, and then i was like oh shoot i lost and i was like i was going on the edge of my seat like okay i gotta play again and then she was like okay <laughs> maybe that's enough dave like i just wanted to show it to you <laughs> like i'm really getting into this game <laughs> right yeah one I more mean, round okay yeah 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 i'm i'm excited now Oh I want to get the super plus. <laughs> Oops. Like, oh, no. Come oh, back. no. You the tampon. you got to jump over some of these guys. Some of these Is guys that possible? are really fast. Yeah. Jump oh, over. Oh, I them. can. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we don't want to waste our tampons on these guys. Yeah, maybe, maybe like <laughs> slower moving guys, but the faster ones, I feel like they'd be easy to jump over. All right. 
We could just be, amass a lot of tampons, I have a feeling. Ooh, I wonder what the max amount of tampons I can carry is. Yeah, max out that's, at 99 tampons. I think I, I think I killed everyone with my tampons. That's true. I think you're going to win the game, game. now. Oh. <laughs> One guy. <laughs> yeah, like, why... Oh, so, no, I should be jumping over there. I think, like, these guys, you know, they themselves have girlfriends at home. And they said, honey, can you go buy me some tampons? And they were like, yeah. And then they try to get them from you. And you're like, no, these are all uh... my tampons. Because, <laughs> like, why, why would they want to take them away from you? Uh, the patriarchy. <laughs> this is the same guys that say women can't ride a horse because they'll, like, enjoy it too much. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so gross. <laughs> oh. It's like women Remember? can't have tampons because, you know, it means that they're enjoying it too much. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was only like, uh, whoa, whoa. There's, still, there's still women alive. I it blows my mind that there are women alive today. Actually, there's probably there's women alive today and probably culture still alive today. I feel almost stupid oh, saying this. Sure. That, um,. Women aren't allowed to ride bikes because their uterus will fall out? <laughs> like, I can't even believe that's a real thing. I'm sorry, right. that people think that is a real thing. I understand it's not a real thing. Right, yeah. I mean, there are places where, like, I think well, it's, like, on. in North Korea, they tell you that Kim Jong-un can read your thoughts at any time. Oh, I thought you were going to say something about no, menstruation. Not about tampons, no. Oh, but, they, but I'm just saying, like, a lie. Can that be Kim so Jong Un in guy, he can do he can do a lot. I hear. Yeah. Yes, I understand yeah. the lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just saying, like, yeah. If you if you tell a bunch of people like a lie, like that, you know, like if you get them from you know a young age, they're not gonna know any better. You know, maybe they will mm. think that girls enjoy putting tampons in. <laughs> like, well, I was gonna go to work they? today, but <laughs> just having too much fun with my tampons. <laughs> too much fun with my tampons. Oh, God. oh my god. Said no woman ever. <laughs> like if I call Ooh. Wow, there was a lot of dudes that wanted your tampon. Whoa, the mark of the devil, six six I think that's a good place to leave it. <laughs> that's true. When you're menstruate, it's the devil coming out of you. That's what they say. <laughs> that's what they say. <laughs> that's what they said, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> You know, you gotta bleed all your sins out every month. And men men don't have to because they're just purely good already. But women, they have to bleed it out. <laughs> That's so gross. I'm sorry. The idea the idea is gross, yes. Uh not the normal completely normal uh bodily function. <laughs> that we've learned from Tampon Rod is completely uh, normal and okay. <laughs> right, right, right. So, in summary, this game accomplishes its goal. <laughs> Does it I have said so I have said the word tampon more in the past That's 10 true. Minutes, uh, than I have probably in the past year. And uh, yeah. I mean, I don't think about saying the word tampon because there, you know, there's no one here that's going to take offense. <laughs> I, it's not like if I go tampon, all of a sudden everyone's like, <gasps> what? <laughs> you know, like Holly just, ooh. <laughs> like, that, does, that doesn't Your dog. happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I just, I just wake up one day and I go, oh, I need tampons. And that's about the end of it. <laughs> you got to mm. go to the store. That's about, that's about as much as I talk about tampons normally. <laughs> I don't think this helped me normalize tampon usage because it just, is it a tampon or is it a throwing knife? I don't know. I've had games where it's like there's a projectile that you throw that looks like that. Like, there's no bleeding. <laughs> like, maybe if there was like a uh, like meter at the side, like a red meter. And it's like, it like dripped down and you needed tampons to keep you like alive. That would be better. That would be better. <laughs> oh, alive. I see what you mean. Like, is there something about women's anatomy? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Oh, you okay. know what I mean? From, like in, in the game, Shadowgate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like in Shadowgate, you have your torch and your torch burns out, right? And when it burns out, it's over, right? I'm just saying like, maybe something more like that. Like you need tampons so that, you know, you don't. All right, all right. This is good. So, so tampon run two. Uh huh. Sam's boogaloo. 
<laughs> What's uh? So we got new gameplay mechanics. Yes, the new we gameplay haven't. is that you have to like make sure you have enough tampons on hand to make it through the day. <laughs> and I mean, I don't know if you really need to throw them at your enemies. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I think when it comes to tampons, your enemy is usually time. <laughs> Mm. And scheduling them into your day. <laughs> mm. And trying to schedule when you're going to need a new one. And how you're going to do that without looking too suspicious. Maybe you can... Okay, so <laughs> I understand. I understand that there is a uh, stigma in our culture about... For some people. Uh, about needing to do, needing to apply a tampon. Go to the right. bathroom and apply a tampon. What's the, uh, do you oh, have any Sam, what's Sam's advice? You. What's the best way to be discreet? <laughs> no, let me tell you. Yes. I make sure, like, so first off, it's like I make sure that I try to go back, like, I'll, I'll get the tampon, I'll put it in my pocket, and then I'll try to go back to work, like, if it's lunch break, I'll try to go back a little early. <laughs> uh, trick question. What's up? Women don't have pockets. False. Trick answer. <laughs> Women don't have pockets. False, they do. <laughs> but like, so you know, I, I I get one in my pocket, and then I I, I go back to work early so that I can go in the like bathroom while no one's in there. And then, because you don't want like another. Whoa! Woman, don't tell me what I want. You don't want another woman hearing you unwrap the tampon because we all know what it sounds like if we start hearing like plastic crinkling crinkle, it's like crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. oh ew you're on your period <laughs> i assume that's what it sounds like <laughs> yeah you hear that stuff and you go oh man watch out for that girl she's gonna be like really like on edge <laughs> you're not uh you're not spreading stereotypes are you <laughs> no that's that's fact that's not a stereotype. Like, you're, you're, I think most women can agree that, like, mood swings is definitely something oh. that does happen. Right. Okay. So I was going to add to it. So you're right. So, I mean, shoot, what's that? Hormones. Hormones change during yeah. that time. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, additionally, I was just going to say, doesn't it hurt? When? <laughs> when? When women are grumpy during that time. No. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, it, hurt, the hurt and the grump has n not much to do with each other. Oh, okay. I was just going to say, because, I mean, <laughs> it's extremely common for literally everyone to be grumpy when they're in pain. But oh, yeah. That sounds like a little different. Yeah. Yeah. Like. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, my, my grumpiness, it doesn't require pain. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> honest time with Sam. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just saying, like, honestly, for me, like, I don't know, if we're going, like, really, if we're telling the truth, truth here, you know, like, the week before, I'm super grumpy. I remember I when I was a kid, when I was first having my tampon runs, okay, <laughs> when I was, like, 14 years old, you know, Gosh. 12, 13, 14, you know, I remember that I was you know i was a kid and people are like oh you know you're just being emotional because you're on your period and i was so mad at people who'd say that because like no i'm validate my feelings that i'm having right now i feel this way for a reason and then one day i was on my floor crying because i couldn't find a picture and all of a sudden i go oh my god i am overreacting and crazy <laughs> <laughs> like it clicked all of a sudden. I was like, oh my god, this is stupid. <laughs> so, was that like when you were like 16 or like last year? <laughs> no, no, that was when I was, yeah, I I'm was just like kidding. 14, 15. Yeah, I'm just kidding. It, it still, it definitely still happens. And I, I, it's just now I'm more accepting of it. I know. If I eat a whole pie, there's a reason. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's impressive. I I don't know if that's anything to be ashamed of. Oh, I'm ashamed not, of. I'm... But uh, no, okay. So. Um, oh, it's shameful. I don't Ta know. A tampon I'm... isn't shameful. Eating a whole pie <laughs> is kind of shameful. So, feelings are valid. You feel what you feel. I feel what they I should... feel. 
Right, right. And if uh, a person breaks down on the floor and cries because they can't find a picture, I mean, what are you going to tell them? When you feel like you might be sad and upset, try being happy. <laughs> oh, whatever. Um, but uh, I think it's also good to understand that even the <laughs> deep <in> thought. <laughs> It's also important to understand when my feelings or my reactions are irrational compared to the situation. Right. Like disproportionate. Disproportionate. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's like. Feel what you feel. Understand. Be understanding. Yeah. It's like, you know, some things might, you know, if there's a crack in the sidewalk and every day I walk by the crack and I'm like, ah. Oh, God, I wish they'd fix this road, but whatever. And then all of a sudden, it's like one specific. day, one day I'm on the ground crying and going, this crack is driving me crazy. Like, yeah, it might be because I'm having an emotional week <laughs> because of something beyond my control. <laughs> but, you know, I've never, uh, I've never like beaten anyone or anything. <laughs> Goodness, no, because you're an adult and <laughs> right. have learned to control your emotions in an adult, responsible way. Yeah, people would be surprised. If I, if people <laughs> knew how many times they were rude to me, like, at work, and I was literally, like, in pain, like, <laughs> I was in pain and, like, super upset, and they just were a jerk to me, and I just let it roll off my back, like, whatever. Like, I feel like a lot more men would like you know like realize that you know maybe women aren't crazy they can handle a lot of stuff even when they're on their period or whatever you know like we we can deal with a lot of stuff without going crazy but like sure <laughs> so, well, sometimes Having, you know you have your being able to handle <laughs> being i don't know able but to... I'm... Oh, no, go ahead, yes go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> sam's got a lot of fashion today <laughs> Be, being able to or having to uh, experience those I assume is a, I'm, I'm just a software engineer being able to uh, uh, experience those extreme changes in hormone levels and pain uh, and still be able to uh, you know do adult daily life is uh, impressive I mean any day you go out in public like there's a good chance that there are a few women out there with tampons in who are chance. having a who are having a rough ass day and they're just smiling through it and dealing with it you know <laughs> like women are not like the crazy oh you know she's gonna start world war three <laughs> right <laughs> and you don't have to uh i don't know as a man or anybody uh, I don't have to wonder, oh man, <laughs> is she this way because she's on her period? Instead, I can just be a decent human being to everyone. Yeah, like if it's she... It's not that complicated. <laughs> if, if she's <laughs> mad at you, view it like a drunk person, right? What? Sam, what are you doing? <laughs> is this... Is this real advice? Okay, go on. No, it's like they, always, they always say that... Uh, drunk words are sober thoughts. I've, Hold on. I've, I've drunk personally... words are sober thoughts. Okay, okay, I got it. Like, it's something that the person usually feels anyway. They just now feel like they can say it, you know? I don't know. I've never been drunk in my life. <laughs> no, no, I understand what you mean. <laughs> but that's so, what they say. I feel... How's, What's up? How is this applicable to the topic at hand? I feel like if, you know, you have upset a woman... And it's, you know, her time of the month. Just know that that was a thought she had anyway. She's just actually, you know, ta talking to you about it now because she's especially, <laughs> she's especially emotional. She always had that thought. She just didn't usually speak it before. And now she's actually going to say it. But she was thinking it the whole time. <laughs> All right. Do you have a Do you have any last uh, advice for anyone? I mean, I don't know if we'll ever talk about this topic again. If we'll ever have such an applicable. I mean, it's the 2024 presidential elections, which for some reason gives us an opportunity like to talk it. about tampons and menstruation. Do you have any final uh, words of advice? Yes, it's not pleasurable. <laughs> it's 
sticking a tampon where tampons go is not pleasurable. It's not doing anything for me. I cannot uh, imagine sticking a tampon in any hole of my body where it would be pleasurable as well.